Hello! So today we have a bit of a surprise. A huge parcel has arrived in the post from a shop called Poolies on the internet. Poolies Flight Equipment. Um, here you can see their website on my screen, on the desk. This is the desk where I do all of my flying, by the way. I think I have less equipment than anybody else I know. So all I have literally is the computer, a stream deck, speakers, and I have an Airbus throttle and stick that are not plugged in at the moment. So this parcel has arrived from Poolies, and this will give you a clue as to what I'm going to be engaging in over the next several months. So let's unbox this parcel find out what's inside it. So we get a guidebook for a, a, a Poolies catalogue for 22-23 of everything they sell, which is all great. But the major thing in here that cost a significant amount of money, and it's heavy, is this bag. So I'll just move the box out of the way. So it's quite a nice bag. And you can see it's full of stuff. So let's just undo the uh, Velcro, which is easier said than done with one hand, and we unzip the top of the bag. We'll move it over to one side of the desk so we have room to empty its contents. Okay, so within the bag we have a reflective vest. So this is, let's just give away what the game is here, this is the Fixed Wing Pilot's Starter Kit from Poolies. So within the kit, you get a reflective vest. So obviously, if you're doing real world flight training, that's going to become really useful for um, going out to your aircraft on the flight line. Obviously, not really used for a simulator. But So this really gives away, you know, I'm going to be using all of this with the simulator to kind of relate across real world training to what we can do in the simulator. So a set of pens and they go with a kneeboard. So we now have a kneeboard, which has got obviously flight logging details on it. So we can fill this in as we fly. So this is the, the real thing. And then we also get a ruler, which gives away what else is in the bag. So we get a ruler that has scales on it for map scales. So you can use it to measure distances easily on a map. We also get a square measurement tool. And again, well, it's a square compass, I think. If you look around the edge, it gives it away what it's doing. But again, it's a handy tool to use with maps. So we'll get into that in later videos. I will obviously be doing lots of navigation exercises that are in what else is in the bag. We'll get to that. We get an update certificate. So a lot of the materials I'm going to get out of the bag get updated regularly. We also get a gift voucher because I spent so much money with them. So they give me a bit of a kickback there, which is nice. We get the Poolies flying logbook, so a paper logbook to record our flights. So we can have a look at that again in a video showing what's in a proper logbook and how you should record your flights. And here we get into kind of the meat of this. This is a CRP1 flight computer. So it's a, a slide rule, a circular slide rule essentially. And you can use it in all sorts of ways to aid calculations with aviation, to do with you know, distance, time, pressure, all kinds of measurements. And we will be looking into that, how it works and how it can assist us in planning journeys. OK, we also get a sector map of the south of the UK. You get to choose when you buy the kit which uh, map you want. So I may well put this on the wall. So we, we, will, we will see. We get Pooley's Flight Guide, which is a... You, there's various options for this. You can get a soft bound, hard bound or, um, sorry, loose leaf or a um, ring bound version of this. So this is a book of all of the airfields in the UK, no matter how small, with all of the notes about them and procedures. And, you know, it, it goes into quite some detail. So this is absolutely invaluable and obviously gives you a lot more information than you might find on Navigraph. So Navigraph obviously has a lot of the smaller airfields missing. They are all in here. OK. So... There's the guidebook. Now we get the, the heavy books. This is the training course for a private pilot's license. So we get the basic flying training book. And it's worth saying the quality of these books is absolutely stunning. You know, the level of detail they go into and the theory behind all of the exercises you might practice in the plane is really quite stunning. I've had a bit of a flick through already on the digital version because I bought a pack that gives me the PDFs as well as the paper versions. And I was sat reading it last night. It's absolutely stunning. So the first book is your basic flying training. The second book is Air Law and Meteorology. 
The third book is Navigation. So that's obviously going to be VFR, Navigation Principles. The, the book that I don't, don't get with the starter kit, because you wouldn't in real life, is the Instrument Navigation. And I will be having a look at that. I'll, I maybe will purchase it as a second thing at a later date. You get a book about the more technical aspects of aeroplanes and how they work. We also get the Human Performance and Operational Procedures book. It's worth pointing out each of these books is probably four or five hundred pages. They are seriously <laughs> thick books. And then we get communications. So the Human Performance is obviously about altitude and the effects of saturation on the pilot, that kind of thing. Um, and then communications, which is obviously radio telephony for talking to air traffic control and or talking to other pilots. OK, so that is the Poolies kit for uh, fixed wing and I'm going to have all sorts of fun with it over the next few months recording videos so hopefully you'll find them interesting and hopefully it'll be useful to other people to encourage them to start involving some more real world practices in their simulator flight because that's what I'm trying to do and I think it's kind of the next step along the road really you know, it's great fun just bombing around in an aeroplane in a simulator, but if you try and use... Now the aeroplanes are obviously becoming higher fidelity, we can do things properly. So this is going to form the basis of me starting to do things properly. Anyway, hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what was in the box. If you head to poolies.com, you can find all of these materials sold individually or as sets. So I will um, hopefully see you soon. Okay, take care.